What's cracking, YouTube? Still that cat. The bitch. It's just professional aquatics with the amateur touch. So amateurs, yep. Get that professional look. African cichlids. Everywhere I look, African cichlids. In my 75-gallon, African cichlids. In my 60-gallon, African cichlids. In my 40 gallons, African cichlids. It's the all male tank. I've got a holding female that's holding African cichlid fry. I got some fresh spit African cichlid fry. And my fry ain't shy. So, let's show you how to breed African cichlids. I've got enough of them. And if you ever want any, holla at the biz. But that's what this video is about. How to breed African cichlids. It ain't hard. But let's. <laughs> when it comes to African cichlids, before you can get to the nice size, beautiful color of my OBs in my 75 gallon, they had to start somewhere. And this is how they start. Bland looking, itty bitty, tiny little eye spots with small egg sac bellies with tails on them. These are African cichlid fry or baby African cichlid fish. So, so what do you need to start? Basic tank setup. Tank full of water. Don't forget the conditioner. And always make sure that you have a filter. And also uh, a heater, especially for African cichlids. They prefer 78 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, make sure it's cycled with beneficial bacteria before you get started. Once your tank is cycled and ready to go and ready for fish, get you some fish. With African cichlids, usually the males are the most colorful ones. So get you a nice dominant colored male. Actually, any of these guys will do. And normally the male's lower fin, the anal fin, comes to a point the females are a little rounder. Also, with the female cichlids, you can notice that they're a little more bland than the males as far as color is concerned. So, looking at my all-male tank, you can see that the colors in most of them pop and they're really really pronounced with the females in my female tank not so much uh, that OB female has a little more color on her than the other two but uh, they're more likely bland colored and, and colored down um, that's the other way to kind of decide male from female uh, the surefire way is to vent them Ventum means turning the fish upside down and looking for um, their egg holes. Notice the female holes are around the same size other than the male. Here's another picture. Next, you get enough males and females together and uh, give them a little time on their own. All of a sudden, you'll notice some strange behavior from a coupled up male and female. Looks like this. Here's the uh, entry level courtship. Starts off with the male doing his spawn dance for the female. And the female will follow behind him doing her spawn dance until eggs drop, which you will see in this next video right here. So, as the male fertilizes the eggs that the female lets out, the female then goes around and scoops them into her mouth. This is particular with African cichlids because they are mouth brooders. Here's what that looks like on a larger scale. The mother holds her brood in her mouth to protect them from danger and spits them out when it's safe. Mouth brooder. Here's one of my smaller holding females that I currently have right now. She is holding some African cichlid um, fry eggs, have not spit yet. 
And here you see me explain in one of my previous videos, one of my larger African cichlid females, my OB peacock, and she is holding a mouthful of fry right now. They don't release them until they're hatched, and when they spit, they are free swimming. That is the natural way of African cichlids, how they hold their babies and how they spit their eggs. So behaviors that you're looking for when you see these puffed up jaws and large elongated throats are, you won't see them eat. They try to hide from you and hold off to the side and stay away from other cichlids. That lets you know you might have a holder. Once you realize you have a holder, you need to get her out of the main tank and put her in like a marina box, which I have my holding female in. That way she can spit her fry without any issues. My other holder I have in this 10 gallon equipped with a sponge filter and a heater so that she can spit without worrying about any other fish eating her fry. After she spits her fry, she definitely will hang around because of course they're in the same tank, but they also will hang around her. And uh, you'll notice that if you try to see them or walk by, they'll all climb right back into her mouth for protection. But she will be hungry. I do suggest getting her out of the tank as soon as you can. Uh, the fry now are able to fend for themselves. They're in the tank by themselves. They don't have to worry about getting eaten. So now you'll be able to feed them and care for them as usual. The female, you can put her back in the general tank. That way she can eat and get strong and be healthy to hold other eggs and get ready to spit another generation of fry. And congratulations, you are now breeding cichlids. Well, that's how I do it. So, until next time, it's Fishy Biz Aquatics. Professional aquatics with the amateur touch. So amateurs, yep, get that professional look. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, ding the notification bell, and share. Thanks for watching. And get at me.